Hey guys, welcome to FM Driving School. So today we're going to go through some of the most difficult test questions in your theory test. Uh, we're just going to go through quite a few of them. So maybe the top 5 to top 10. And let's just see if you guys find it difficult. Uh, we'll also make more videos on your theory test and we'll probably do a few ourselves and see if we can get it right. So let's get into uh, the article. So here's one where we go through some of the top uh, difficult questions that you may face in your theory test. When should you not overtake? Uh, guys, before we start, don't forget you can always check out our site. So here we are, fmdriverschool.co.uk or fmdriverschool.com. Uh, you can go through all these um, like guides. Let's just check it out. Driving with instructors and students. Can I do my driving test or take my driving test during the coronavirus pandemic? Top 10 tips to pass your driving test. If you go to learner's guide here, you go um, types of driving course, book your theory test, driving test course, hazard perception, to, uh, top 10 most difficult theory test questions. Uh, let me just get into it. So we got quite a lot of articles. Um, hardest places to pass a driving test. So go check out fmdrivingschool.co.uk. So let's go through the top 10 most uh, difficult theory test questions. When should you not overtake? After navigating a bend on a road with a 30 miles an hour speed limit when driving down a one-way street when the road you are driving down has a dip in it. Uh, what do you guys think? Comment below your answers. This question is tricky because all of the answers may well be valid reason not to overtake. For the purposes of your theory test, it is the last answer which is right. When the road you are driving down has a dip. Okay, two. When traveling uh, on a dry road at 50 miles an hour in decent weather, what is the standard average stopping distance? Okay, so if you are not confident with this, uh, then this could be a tough one for you. You need to remember that stopping distance is equal to thinking distance combined with braking distance. At 50 miles an hour, your thinking distance is 15 meters, while 30 meters is braking. Therefore, added together is 53. So the answer is the last one again. What color comes after green on a puffing crossing? Intermittent amber, constant red, constant amber, or intermittent green. Okay, so puffing crossings are sensors uh, which uh, uh, which can tell you uh, when people are crossing. This means there is no need for intermittent or flashing light. The right answer is constant amber. So what color comes after green on a puffing crossing is constant amber. Question four. When towing a compact sized trailer on a packed three lane motorway, you notice all lanes being open. Should you uh, not go over 50 miles per hour, decide not to overtake anyone, fit a stabilizer or stick to the center uh, and left lane? While well, you may think all sound plausible, it is actually the last answer which is the one to be stick to the center and the last lane. So we got all the answers here. But obviously you guys can um, always pause it when I'm talking and then answer the question. In terms of the road transport, I'm trying to just quickly go through this so that you guys can t uh, stay um, you know, concentrated. In terms of the road transport, what percentage of emission does it account for? 20%, 10%, 40%, 30%? Comment below your answer. What do you guys think it is? Uh, this fools people as it's more of a general question than as a pure driving one. While 10% would seem too little with so much traffic, about 40% may be too much. It is sensible to go down the middle 20%. The correct reply in this case, 20%. Okay, question six. If involved in a road incident, it is vital to care for any injured parties. After the, after the scene of the incident is secured, you should... Help them from their vehicle, offer them something to drink, offer them some food, make them stay in their vehicle. This comes across as quite an easy one, but it is key not to jump in without thinking it, it through. The last answer is the correct answer. Make, sh make them stay in their vehicle. Question 7. When driving, you observe a pedestrian walking a dog. The dog has... A burgundy or yellow coat. This tells you that the person is a senior citizen. B. Training the dog. C. Is colorblind or D. Deaf. So all these questions. Um, make sure you go through the has a perception or not has a perception. Sorry, theory test app or book. They will all be um like proper questions. The questions are the exact same questions you're gonna get in your driving test. You can always go through them, memorize it. Just keep practicing nonstop till you get it right. That's one tip in order to pass your driving test. So here, for example, this question here, we don't. Maybe we know, maybe we don't. But once you read it once, 
um, it should be in your head. This is quite an obscure one, which is why it catches so many people out. The correct answer is deaf. Make sure to brush up uh, on this kind of question before you take your theory test. So, if the dog has a burgundy yellow coat, the person is deaf. Question 8. While waiting to turn left, you see a larger vehicle approaching from the right. You should go ahead and turn, but instead wait. Why is this? So, is it A, the larger vehicle could be hiding others from the left? B, it could be hiding a vehicle that is overtaking it, that is overtaking it. C, it, it may decide to turn abruptly. Or D, the larger vehicle may have trouble steering straight. The larger, let's go for the answer. The larger vehicle could easily be hiding another vehicle which is overtaking. It is so the second option is the answer you want. So while waiting to turn left, but turning left, you see a larger vehicle approaching from the right. Uh, while waiting from the right, you could go ahead and turn by instead wait. It could be hiding a vehicle that is overtaking it. So um, this is a crossword, uh, not crossword, crossroad situation. A large vehicle is turning right. You can always check out our YouTube channel, FM Driving, where we actually go through the crossroad situation, how to turn left, um, or what to apply, such as near side to near side, off side to off side. So one question is, should I be taking my theory test before I do my driving test? So majority, I will say about 70% of students actually take their driving lessons. And while they're doing their, doing their driving lessons, they're then doing their theory test. Now the big advantage of that is, um, like for example, this question here is practical. You're actually going to practically come across it. You're going to have to deal with it. And then when you do your theory, you'll have a rough idea how to do it. So um, you can actually do your driving lessons without doing your theory test first. But then obviously if you do your theory test, maybe you'll be a bit more motivated to do the practical driving test. Okay, when is it acceptable to overtake another road user on their left? Mm, drive along a one-way street, driving along a one-way street, coming up to a motorway slip road at which you plan to exit. After vehicle you are behind has signal to make a left turn. If a slow vehicle is in the lane of the on the right when traversing on a dual carriageway. So when is it acceptable to, uh, acceptable to overtake a road user on their left? Although the presence of a right and left in different answers may confuse you, do not let it. The right response is here in the first. Driving along uh, a one-way street. And then finally, let's see, question ten, uh, 10. Questions on the road signs. So it's saying, in your theory test, you guys may get like road sign signals wrong. Let's see, while there is no specific example here, it is a good idea to brush up on all your road signs. Any could uh, crop up on the theory test and you could be asked uh, what they mean. While the more common ones may be obvious, it is less widely known examples that could trip you up. So go through your um, again theory test road sign book or app and that way you'll be prepared for uh, the road sign questions. So that's a uh, few examples of some of the top 10 difficult questions in your theory test. Uh, please guys don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can always go to our site. So let me just click on home fmdrivingschool.co.uk Now with us, um, your fully qualified driving instructor. We got all these like, um, how uh, what would you be expecting in your first driving lessons? That way you kind of save some money because you know what to be, um, what you'll be uh, being taught in your driving in the first few driving lessons. So you'll be a bit advanced in the game. Um, we got driving modules here, uh, moving off, how to stop a car, how to do my um, This is all for myself, your fully qualified driving instructor. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.